This is the Joy Using V508. I'm gonna get it unboxed in this video. I'm gonna get it plugged into the computer and see how it compares to other visualizers that I've used. And then in a second video, I'm gonna take this into school and actually use it in the classroom and see how it works. I just wanna say first of all, thank you very much for Joy Using for sending me this visualizer in exchange for this review. So I have received this visualizer for free, but they haven't told me what to say, and this will be my honest opinions of them. This V508 is a fully featured visualizer, and there's a few extra features that I'm really interested to see that the visualizers I've reviewed so far on this channel don't have. And those are a fill light, so I've talked about using a second light source as opposed to the, the one light that comes straight down from next to the camera, because if you just use that one light, you get quite harsh shadows on your work. This has a fill light. And also this has SD card recording built in. So there is a microphone and there's SD card recording built in. So I'm really excited by those two features which I've never seen in a visualizer before. Also, it's a fully featured visualizer with the HDMI out and USB out and old fashioned VGA out if you still have old whiteboards. There's just loads of functionality. So let's get it unboxed and see. Well, you do get quite a lot. <laughs> a remote control braided HDMI cable, power, ordinary USB cable, remote control, VGA cable, and this is the visualizer itself. Useful box for taking that into school. So here we go, these are my first impressions of it. It's well built, it's not heavy. And here's what I'm talking about. There's the SD card input, HDMI output, VGA in and VGA out, the USB and the power source. There are buttons directly on this. It's a useful thing of this type of visualizer in that you don't have to use it connected to a computer. So you don't have to set up your computer. You can just turn this on and instantly be showing your documents in front of you. It's very sturdily built. It's good quality plastic. And this is what I'm talking about. This second light here is this fill light, which is gonna avoid those harsh shadows. Let's get it plugged in and check it out. Okay, so that was pretty easy to set up. Uh, just one plug for the power, and I've got this set up straight into the HDMI of this monitor. And here's something I wasn't really expecting, is that actually there's a USB input for a mouse on the back. So they've kind of set this up to be a little bit like a little mini computer and you've got a whole menu and you, there's options to get rid of this menu or have it displayed on screen the whole time. And there's everything here. You can change the brightness, the contrast, the saturation. I mean, I'm pretty happy with it so far. You can turn on the lights independently. So light one and light two, you can turn on here. There's also a button on the visualizer for the lights as well which alters their brightness as well. And as I said, I'm particularly impressed and interested by that fill light. So I'm just gonna give it a little go here and actually record something to the SD card. And I'm really interested to know how the microphone is gonna sound and how the picture quality recorded to the SD card is. So this is gonna tell me whether in a real life situation I would find this usable. And I could basically have this image on the front of the whiteboard and then I can also be recording whatever work I'm doing on the sheets in front of me. And just use that directly to either upload later to my online learning platform, or of course for me to put it onto YouTube. So let's test this out. So the angular velocity of the, ra of the CD in radians per second. So angular velocity is two pi on the time period or two pi F. So I'm going to use this time period. You've got 4,000 revolutions in a minute. That means the time period is 60 seconds divided by 4,000. Oh, and I do want to turn off all of my studio lights because I'm really interested to know how good these individual lights are and whether they do that thing of getting rid of the shadows. So let's just show you without any light at all. You don't incidentally need a mouse, you can just use the buttons on here to uh, navigate the menus. So this is all the lights off. Uh, and I am by a big window, but it's winter, it's not very bright. This is just with all the lights off in the room. 
and that's with the main light on and the fill light turned up to maximum. Let's just see just with the main light. So that's just with the main light. You can perhaps see those shadows. And when I turn the fill light on, yeah, those shadows do a pretty good job of disappearing really. Now I'm sure you're interested to know the angular velocity of this. Four hundred eighteen point nine radians per second. So let's see how that looks. So now I'm using the Joy Using, but I'm recording it through the computer. So you are still listening to the Joy Using microphone, but it's being recorded by my computer through Open Broadcast software, and it's crucially it's sampling at a higher rate. So this is it set up and I'm using the Joy Using microphone and I'm recording on the USB mode through OBS. So this is with the Joy Using camera set up and using OBS to record. This unfortunately means that you're losing the menu system that you normally have with the Joy Using. And I'm just gonna put a bit of color on a bit of paper. I'm going to do a bit of a watercolour. I have the window open, but aside from that, all of the light is from the two lights on the Joy Using camera. And this is the Joy Using microphone as well that you're listening to. I'll leave you to make up your mind whether you think that's good enough for your purposes or not. So that's now having added a bit more light and I'm also going to switch back to my normal USB mic to allow you to compare the sound qualities of the mic on the Joy Using Visualizer versus this which is a Rode NT USB. So let's sum up, would I buy this and would I recommend this? The features that I really like are that fill light. I really like having the second light source there to eliminate the shadows. And I do actually quite like having the USB input, which is a bit of a funny thing to say for a visualizer, but you can put in a mouse or you can put in a touch screen and you can actually interact with it like it's his own little computer. And I do quite like that. I'm interested to see where that goes because I would always recommend that you get a visualizer that you can use without having to plug it into a computer. I just think that having a visualizer that's there on the table, always set up straight away, plugged into the monitor, that you don't have to plug in through your computer is a really good way to use it because it means that you're more likely to use it. You don't have to connect it up to your laptop, so it's much less of a thought to actually just get going using the visualizer there and then. I also really like the fact that you can save images and videos onto the device. I like that you can reference them actually on the device. Let's say in a lesson down the road, you might want to remind the students of something you did in an earlier lesson and you can actually call up that image and use it again or even have it float in as a picture in picture whilst you do some new stuff. So I'm interested to see where that goes and Joy Using actually have out a visualizer that has a screen actually built into it. MathMathX has a review of that and I'll link that up here. And that's quite cool because you can check your works in focus, you can see what the kids are seeing actually without having to look behind you. And it's just another step towards having that completely PC free experience. So if that appeals to you and you want a PC free visualizer then definitely consider this one. Of course this visualizer will also work as a standard USB camera and you can trust it just to plug and play with the standard camera app or to stream live on your standard streaming apps. It means it's a really versatile piece of equipment. It does the job that you'd expect a visualizer or document camera to do. The downside though is the microphone. I think they should spend a bit of time and improve the microphone on this. Audio is a massively important part of any video production. Even if you're just sharing videos from this on your own internet or that you want to reuse them again later, this microphone is below par. 
But if sound is not important to you, then this shouldn't matter to you. If I needed to use a video from this, then I probably would either re-record a voiceover later, or I'd have some kind of external way to record audio and sync it up later, which is not too difficult. On the recorded AVI files that you get on the SD card, actually it's only sampling at 8000 Hz, which is well below standard recording quality. If you record it through an external recorder like OBS, then you can get slightly better quality out of it, but it's still not a great sounding microphone. So this does have an impressive feature set and I think they've tried to tick every single box here. So here are the positives. I love the fill light to eliminate the shadows. I like that the visualizer can be used with or without a computer. It's even got that touch input. So it's really versatile. It can be used in USB mode as well as got lots of features and controls. The SD card is a good addition and I like that you can take a photo or a video of your lesson and you can refer back to it in future lessons without a computer. And I like that picture in picture mode that you can use to refer back to your previous lessons. And so I think the mic quality is the only main negative of this, but I do think this is a good value visualizer. If you look at the price and you're not too worried about the sound quality, I could recommend this to you. And certainly if you want a fully featured visualizer, which is just going to sit in a lecture theater or a classroom, this is a really good option. It has some features that I haven't tried yet, such as the OCR writing recognition. It can actually turn text into digital text. And I haven't really played about with the software that comes with it. So I'll try those out and let you know in a subsequent video. So check back in with that video after a few days and I'll try out some of those other impressive sounding features. Thanks for watching Gorilla Physics. This has been another teacher tech video. I hope you've liked it. Thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more.